All right, today we're going to complete a pre-flight check on the uh, Auto Gyro MTO 2017. First thing we'll go to our checklist. It says fuel the aircraft. So we'll fuel the aircraft here. Okay, and uh, the aircraft has a fuel gauge. I'll turn the key on and we'll check the fuel. Okay, it's uh, approximately six gallons. And also, there's a sight gauge back here while you're refueling. You can verify your fuel level by checking this pith ball and adjacent the number of gallons that is shown on the tank. Okay. Next thing, we want to take a fuel sample. We have a sample container here. <coughs> Down under here where the intake is, is a fuel drain. We'll take a sizable amount of fuel out of it and check it for contamination. If there's water in the system, the water is heavier than fuel and it will sink to the bottom. And you always want to discard your fuel in a container and not, not outside on the ground. Okay, next we want to check the oil. The, this is a Rotex 912, 100 horsepower. And it has a dry sump, which means it has a canister. Let me get a flashlight here. Canister, and that shows you the, the oil canister, and now we'll remove the cap. use my other hand here okay remove the cap and set it aside somewhere where you won't forget to put it back on and there's also a dipstick down in that little reservoir Pull the dipstick out here and look at it before we pressurize the engine. And there's a flat spot on the on the dipstick. Uh, anywhere the oil level, anywhere within that flat spot is is adequate. But before we put the cap on, we want to rotate the propeller slowly in the direction that it, it operates, making sure our mag switches are off in the back, mag switches are off in the front. Rotax says it will not start while hand propping it, but we always want to double check the mags. And we turn the prop over in the direction that it operates which in this case is counterclockwise. You do this slowly and what's happening is the oil pump is pumping the residual oil that's in the in the crankcase back into that that canister oil reservoir and that'll give you a true oil level. And after several times, you'll hear a gurgle when the, when the oil is completed uh, pumped back into the canister. And you can check the dipstick again to ensure that you have proper oil level. I'll go ahead and put the cap back on. And while we've got the access door open, we'll check the the fluid level 
in the in the coolant level there's a little sight gauge there and I can see that it's full so we're good there okay secure the door back up all right uh, the next chore is to clean and inspect the rotor blades well we're in a hanger here so we can't really rotate the blades but you would you would normally rotate them and clean them uh, especially the leading edge I have a device here it's uh, it's got a groove and a and then you would saturate that groove with just a cleaner of I use shampoo, little shampoo in some water. And then you would put the leading edge in that groove and then wipe back and forth. Entire blade, both rotor blades. Okay. Next, the most important check in our pre-flight is the cyclic control. You know, your engine can quit, you can lose a tire, uh, whatever, but you cannot lose the function of, a, of the joystick, the control system, everything that leads into controlling the rotor blades. If that fails, then you, you're just the passenger. So, needless to say, the joystick control system is very vital and uh, it should be checked properly. You would start up front here, checking the cyclic movement left to right, check all pivot points in the front. And in this case, we have a set of controls in the rear. We can also check that for play or slop. And then we got some push rod connectors here. You would also check the movement of these these push rods and make sure the jam nut is tight and all the hardware is secure you would do this on both sides and also there's a connection up there on either side you would also check and it's difficult down here but this is where it connects to the joystick If you can see it or not, I'll pull this down. That way you can see that connector in there where it connects to the, the joystick. And there's one on the other side and you will also check that. All right, coming back to the engine. You would check the propeller, check the, the root section of the propeller for any, in this case, this is a carbon fiber composite propeller, and you would check the root section of any delamination, and you would also check the leading edge on all three blades. Make sure they're secure. And back here, there's a, as an add-on balancer and you you take your fingernail and you go around this ridge and that will detect any cracking going on in this in this area and you would just look over the engine in general for anything that's that doesn't look normal any leaks you also check the exhaust system for cracks and it wouldn't hurt to grab things and try to move them a little bit. Check for looseness. Radiator. And once that's completed, then you would check the tires for, tire up for the pressure, proper pressure. And you would come back here and check the, the connector of the rudders here the connections on the rudder make sure they're secure right. 
and at this point uh, you could you'd be ready to fly